you like, subscribe, comment, share. You did? Yeah! Hey, looking for a T, I got it. What's the name? Just got shot it. They taking chain like Wiley. All these niggas do is gossip. Driving T and MKE. They better treat me like Big Me. Loud pipes like SRTs. They jumping out of here, shoot fees. Camera on you, no duck from it. You gon' get what you wanted from it. Them two hoes was sucking, fuck it. He just fucked off all the money. She did that for a couple hundred. He told Jose to keep him coming. I don't think you can tell him nothing. Drop the T, bitch, tell me something, huh? Like, share, comment, all that good shit you did. This your girl, Miss Dimples, dropping the T in MKE. Make sure y'all subscribe and hit that notification button. Today's co host is Dr. Kool Aid. Dr. Kool Aid, what it do? What's going on, Miss Dimples? Just dropping the T in MKE. Today, we're going to be talking about workers with attitudes. When you go in the store, they have bad attitudes. I don't know why they got these attitudes, because I ain't done nothing to you. I'm just here to spend some money so you can get a paycheck. Dr. kool what you think about these workers with these bad oh, attitudes? I really, that really disgusts me, because simple fact, you, if you go in and ask for help, you can be in the Walmart or, or I like to say, Home Depot. They got plenty of associates in there, man. You talk to one associate, well, I ain't working this apartment. Like, what? Like, and then, then they catch an attitude with you. I'm like, hold up, man. I said, I used to work in, in uh, uh, Lowe's. I know how to, I know how to go up in here, man. Y'all call the chain of command or whatever. Call somebody up here. You ain't got to, matter of fact, I don't even want to deal with you with your attitude. I, I go talk to the right person. Then they get mad. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't, man, you didn't know how to really talk to me, man. You ain't got to talk to me any type of way. You know, they got it bad now. They just talk to you any type of way. Roll their eyes at you and you know, everything. So I'll be like, I'll be trying to. I just try to stay humble because if I go off there, it's just going to be sad. Yeah, you come in, you say, what is that? they like, it's over there. <laughs> go down there, Al, make a left. Right, don't even show you. Don't show you. You remember back in the days, they used to, people used to be in their own departments. Right. Everybody had their own department. Now it's just people walking around. around. Yeah, they running around. This is even before the pandemic, so they can't blame it on the pandemic because they were doing this before. And on the phones. Hell yeah, them phones. They be on them phones. I ain't mad at them for being on the phone because I know one thing. I'm in there. I'm going to be on my phone. <laughs> I'm be like, yeah, to be on the phone, but you having customers, you can't be on the phone. Yeah, because right, right. yeah, people getting irritated. They already can't find what they looking for. Then walk in the store. That's a lot of walk because I know I can't walk a lot in there. I get in a, a scooter as soon as I hit the door. <laughs> and they done ran out of scooters. I be pissed. One man <laughs> told me. I told him he's in school. I said, that's my scooter. He like, no, it's not. <laughs> it was, he was on the scooter riding. I tried to tell him to give it to me. Mm -mm. And then at the end, I got another scooter. And then I see him. You done with that scooter? I'm like, uh-uh, you got a scooter. Oh, it's going dead. Oh, mm -hmm. well. I told you that's my scooter in the first place. You could have had this one anyway. <laughs> but, you, but you didn't listen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you got them co-workers with bad attitudes. I don't think they want to be at work. That's why they got them attitudes. No more customer service no more. Yeah, no more customer service. You get one with that good attitude, yeah. I, I lift my hat to her. But I have had a few, just a few, mm -hmm. that's been really nice. But what I do, my approach is I be nice when I walk up. I right. get their attention and make them talk. Because I make them talk. You can sit there and look like that. You can make me sad because you at work. Right. Best thing to do is at work is be happy so you can get the day over with you. At work, you there, make it. Right, or, you know, or, or then you at the cash register, and you was like, "Hey, well, look, can you check check the price and tell me how much this is?" And then some of the shit don't even have no price on it. You'd be like, "Then they in the attitude because they gotta go find somebody to search for the piece." I mean, you don't send the price of that. Mm -hmm. And one thing I hate is this: when you get with one customer that made the the cashier mad, and you get up there, it's like she got an attitude towards you. Then you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? The rest of her day is all messed up because one person she like that one person just ruined her her, her day. Yeah, sometimes I go in there and be like, ain't no price on here. You can't get that. I give them a price. I give you a price. You don't, <laughs> I give you a price. One dollar. Some of them ring up one dollar, too. I say, okay. Right. Since you don't want to do the work, I give you a price. Right. I'm going to give you the lowest price. I want to say 50 cent. Right. But I'm being nice and saying one dollar because the, the merchants look like it's worth more than 50 cents, so I got to go a dollar. <laughs> Some things be like 10. She's like, how much? I say, I got that off the rack over there. It say $5. If you don't want to go look for the price, you don't want to do your job, right. I'll help you out. Because right. I'm the person putting out this money to pay. Right, exactly. So I'm going to help you out on that price thing if you don't want to go look for it. Yeah, yeah. and they be, uh, some of them be walking around and like, I'm on lunch. I understand that you're <laughs> on lunch and you don't want to help nobody. you walking around. They need to have a back door for you where nobody, you can't see nobody when you're coming out but, for 
lunch. When I had to work there in in, a, in Lowe's and stuff, and I'd be on my lunch break, people like, hey, you know what they said? I'll help them anyway because oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying. And that's that's a part of customer service. Oh yeah. You know, I'm like, okay, even though my break, but yeah, I'll show you what it's at. You know what I mean? But it, but it's gonna hurt for a few minutes. That's it. You know. Yeah. And they gonna remember that. They gonna remember you when they look for you. They'll be in that store. You, if right. I, if someone saw Dr. Kool Aid here, mm -hmm. dimples here, they gonna be looking for you because they like your customer service. service. Right. People don't forget good customer service. I'm not gonna forget it because you barely get it. Right. So you gonna remember the nice people that and, helped you. And the main place is you just gonna look at them and walk right past you. And know walk know right saying? past you. Right. But they want that paycheck. Mm -hmm. You get that job, be going to your friends. Oh, I got hired. I got the job. Mm -hmm. Then it's kind of work. You in the store looking like this. <laughs> Where my check at? Right, right. No, you gotta look work for that. Check. And Everybody out there having fun while you working there. Now you got attitude because you can't go out there. Oh, yeah. They want a little check, go home, they live with their mama, and they don't want to pay no bills. They got to mm -hmm. pay that sale bill. You know, they're going to pay that. They like the tennis shoes, right. the outfits. You got to work for that stuff. You can't just be standing up there. They ain't hiring you to stand up there and just look. I know in training, they teach you customer service because right. I have work customer service. So, what they teach y'all, y'all not applying it. Right. I don't see it being applied because I know they have that where they teach you how to uh, customer what, service. What the problem be is that the boss trying to be the friend when he be supposed to be the boss. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Once you become friends, they ain't paying you no attention after that. You, know, you can't tell them to do nothing. Oh, yeah. So, y'all, make sure y'all have good customer service because we watching and people going to talk about it and they're not going to come back to that store if they feel mm -hmm. some type of way. Mm -hmm. I'll go all the way out to another store and get on my business. They shut the Walmart down where I was living at. I don't know why they shut it down. Maybe customer service was poor. They said they were stealing out of there. I don't know what happened. The one in Midtown, they mm -hmm. said they were stealing it. And I missed that store. It was convenient for me. Right. Now the ones that got shut down, they got to go somewhere else and go shopping. Right. Then they go to the next store and get that one shut down. Then we ain't going to have no stores around to go to. Because right. customer service, like we say, terrible. But they got attitudes. And then people stealing. We ain't, mm -hmm. I ain't, don't be mad at me because your man didn't come home last night or your woman didn't come home. You have him, uh, you come to work, you leave your problems at outside. home. Yeah. yeah. Leave them at home. You, you have a better day. Then you better probably deal with the problems once you get home. Yeah. But don't bring it to work because we, they ain't our problem. That's your problem. That's what so, our church say. That mm -hmm. when, before you come in, leave all your problems outside. Yeah. And if you got anything going on, just leave it outside. You just come in, you come into the house of the Lord. You just, you know, you come to praise Him. And then, yeah. If you want to pick that back up when you leave, then you pick it back up. But Oh, yeah. You got to pray on it. Mm -hmm. If you run to church, you got to bring the problems to church. Right. You know, you got to pray on it. You got people with attitudes in there, too. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Church people. <laughs> yeah. That's why they keep going. They try to get it right. right. Yeah, they people. stay in church. I'm like, okay. I go to church to hear the word. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we talking about attitudes, right. customer service with attitudes. I went somewhere, somebody had attitude. You have an attitude, I just look at you and just keep it moving. <laughs> like, let me go on because I ain't got time. Right. And I ain't going to serve an arg with nobody. And if I feel right. some type of way, I will go to the management right. on you. I'm letting you know now. If I feel some type <laughs> of way, if you make me feel some type of way, I'm going to the management. You can look at me all you want to, but you started it. So right. I'm going to finish it. It ain't that I'm telling on you, but I'm make, getting peace with myself because you really irritated me. Mm -hmm. And I ain't finna let nobody me go out the door. I came in happy. I want to leave up out of here happy. You ain't finna take my spirit because you got attitude. People right. take your spirit, take your uh, good spirit and put all that negative. Uh -uh, don't, uh -uh, I'm not having it. Right. So I want y'all to subscribe, hit that like button, comment. I'll be coming back with some new videos. I love y'all. Thank y'all. Peace, love, and happiness. See y'all later. Yo, it like, subscribe, comment, share. You did. Yo. Hey, yo, Keon, talk hey, to looking for T, I got it. What's the name? Just got shot it. They taking the chain like Wiley. All these niggas do is gossip. Driving T and MKE. They better treat me like Big Meech. Loud pipes on SRTs. They jumping out of here, shoot fees. Camera on you, no duck from me. You gon' get what you wanted from it. Them two hoes was suckin' fuckin'. He just fucked off all the money. She did that for a couple hundred. He told Jose to keep him comin'. I don't think you can tell him nothing. Drop the T, bitch, tell me something, huh? Hey, yo, subscribe, like, share, comment, all that good shit.